Saturday evening saw yet another successful Galantita festival. This year's event saw 32 stalls on display selling delicacies from around the world, including Gibraltarian favorites and, of course, Galantita. Filipino, Mexican, Irish, Spanish and Moroccan food were also on offer, as well as Asian, Greek and Indian cuisine, with many of the food stalls also raising money for charity. The event was once again organized by word of mouth in conjunction with the Ministry of Culture. They promised more food, more stores and more space, and an expansion into marketplace offered just that. The organizers have described this innovation as a huge success, and it also went down well with those who attended. Very good this year. What kinds of food have you tried? We tried the Moroccan finchitos. There's always a big queue. And we've tried some... We're going to try the Greek ones. We've tried Vicky's, Vicky's variety. So, but it's much better because there's much more space. Normally it's quite crowded and you can't get around that well. Yeah, very, very good. And it's lovely. Lovely eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love it. Try the uh, Indian and the uh, what? Malaysian, no? Yeah, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the first one is Himalayan. From Himalaya. Nepal. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was very nice. And now we're going to try this one. I hope it's okay. Well, I've had calentita and I had a little bowl of cayos as well, which was very nice. There's loads of stalls and the buy stuff. I'm loving it. It's great. Got cheap drinks, great food from everywhere in the world. Um, came all the way from America to come to this. It's been on my calendar, the social calendar, for about six months now. So, yeah. Excellent. So tell me, what kind of food have you tried tonight? I had some samosas. I had some kebabs. I had some... What, some uh, Mexican food, everything. It's so good. Uh, we're enjoying it thoroughly. What have you tried so far? Here, we've tried all the local stuff, and now we're, we're adding a bit of callos. I think the fact that they've spread it over two areas is brilliant. At least you can move about. Yeah. Remember when it was only one place, you just couldn't move. At least you can move and eat. Really good, really good, really enjoying myself. No, I'm really enjoying it. It's very, it's very good turnout and it's much more organized this year than last time. Have you managed to try any food yet? Uh, a few pinchitos, a few wontons and samosas and still hunting around right now. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it quite a lot actually. It's, it's, I mean, my sang a lot, sang a lot. It, it, it's, last year was a bit, a bit more packed, this year's a bit more open, more space to move about. So yeah, it's definitely a, a good improvement. I think it's, yeah. Looking forward to next year already. <laughs> The expansion into Marketplace also saw arts and crafts stalls, poetry recitals and live cooking demonstrations. And in line with the event's eco-friendly drive, people were given incentives to use reusable plates and cutlery. Entertainment was provided throughout the evening with performances by the Gibraltar National Dance Organization, local band Headwires, guitarist Adam Ophila and art and movement who wowed the crowds with an original performance entitled Porto Calpe.